So I woke up today and I had an epiphany. I asked myself, Jay, why did you change your program? Why did you change your program? You built a pretty decent physique with the program that you were running. And you had much more gains to milk out. You had much more progression to make. Why did you change it? I felt like that was so unintelligent, so imprudent of me. And it was also a disservice to my viewers who were running the program with me. Shout out to you guys who are still on it. And I'm about to jump back on it, guys. I am back on full body training. That's it. I felt like I had a desire to uh, try new exercises and stuff like that, but for the most part, I like to keep things simple. Keep it simple. Working out and getting stronger and bigger is not that complicated at all. If you're a football player and you need to possess many different attributes, then that's a bit complicated. If you're a Muay Thai athlete, then that may be a bit complicated to make sure that you um, monitor strength training and your uh, technique and your conditioning, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But for the most part, for guys who just wanna get strong, who wanna get abs, chisel chest, nice arms, it is not complicated at all. And I don't want this channel to turn into one of those complicated science channels. I wanna keep it as simple as possible for my people, man. Now, as we advance, we may have to encounter new scientific concepts and implement them to continue to advance. Now, of course, there's gonna have to be a point in time where I do switch it up, but that's when I stop progressing, man. When I stop progressing, then we have to go back to the drawing board and figure something out. But for the most part, I have so much more gains to make with this full body training that there's no need to, to make things confusing at all. There's no need. There's no need. There's no need. But for the most part, we're gonna keep this very simple, guys. Stick to the basics, man. Sticking to the basics. I built my physique with the basics. Like, why would you change your program? You know, you gotta have introspection. I was just asking myself this, like, what is wrong with you, Jay? What is wrong with you? You still have more gains to make with this routine. Why would you change it? <laughs> but that's how it is, man. A lot of times we may get tired of something from doing it over and over and over again. Even if it's working, you just wanna take a break from it. And I feel like I took a long enough break, about three weeks, but I'm ready to get back into a full body training is the best training in my opinion, guys. Full body or no body. <laughs> but anyways, to all my viewers out there, thank you for sticking with me, man. Also, I got another thing to tell you guys. I dropped three classes. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you say, Jay, what's going on? What's going on? Are you dropping out of college? No. Listen to me. I just changed my major from nursing to exercise science. I want to continue to pursue exercise science. One day I may be uh, a trainer for athletes, you know? One day I may be a strength coach for a football team. Who knows? Who knows? I, I literally love exercise science. I have a passion for it, you know? On this channel, I want to keep things simple, but like I said, as we continue to advance, we will encounter upon new scientific concepts that may be useful depending on your goals, depending on your goals. And I wanna be that guy. I wanna be that guy who knows it all, or at least who's uh, <laughs> well-versed and savvy in that particular area. So I'm definitely always packing scientific concepts under my arsenal. But for the most part on this channel, we're going to keep things simple, guys. Stick to the basics. But anyways, back to uh, what I was talking about. I changed my major from nursing to exercise science. And some of the classes that I was taking were nursing-based classes that I don't need. So I said, why would I waste my time taking these courses? You got to be efficient with your time. I can be doing better things. I can make, be making YouTube videos. I can be training clients. I can be helping contribute to a greater cause, man. I could be making this world a better place. So I dropped those classes, I dropped three of them. Now I have three classes and I have much more time, even though semester's almost over, but I got much more time to make better videos, to give out awesome informational quality content. But anyways, long story short, the moral of the story is stick to the basics, stick to what works, man. Stick to what works and stay down until you come up. Keep it simple, guys. 
Keep it extremely simple. And also have some introspection. Ask yourself why you do the things you do. And if you can't provide a good enough reason, then maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Maybe you shouldn't be doing it. But anyways...